Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Go check out my website at skyazrael.com for life coaching and mentoring. Let's talk about a controversial topic. Oh, this one pisses a lot of you off. I talked about this once before a year or two ago and people went berserk. It's so weird. So let's talk about it again and see what kind of reaction we get. I think this is an interesting theory. Let's talk about the simulated universe. The idea that we live in a simulated reality, that we're living in a video game. The simulated universe theory has been floating around intellectual or pseudo-intellectual circles for at least a couple decades now. I heard about it maybe 20 years ago. It's nothing new. There is some evidence to prove that maybe it's true. And I think that's why the theory stays alive. They found, they I mean scientists, when they were uh, looking for the smallest matter, trying to see the most microscopic particles and all that, and they get down to atoms and all of the smallest things, and the smallest stuff in the universe are actually pixels. <laughs> so then they have to introduce this theory called the pixelated universe, where at the smallest micro level of matter exist pixels just like in your computer screen. You know, what's that about? And that kind of fed into the simulated universe theory that maybe we are living in a simulation. Maybe what we found is the edge of the screen that we're living behind. As if the characters in your World of Warcraft game could realize that they're in a game. The movie Tron kind of touched on that just slightly. But nonetheless, if you think about this simulated universe theory, why would they be doing it? Some alien race apparently is fucking with us, right? That's the whole game. They're running simulations to see what happens. What the simulated universe theory seems to be is a natural selection experiment. It's an experiment of natural selection. It's assuming that any of this is actually true. It's probably all bullshit, but you gotta wonder why would some alien race be running simulations of Earth? What's the point? So what? Just for fun? Seems like there would have to be some point to it that they would be looking to get some sort of knowledge or information out of it. To make some notes of some sort. What would those notes be? Ah, when they write a note down after they observe something. What are they observing? What are they noting, notating? I think it's all about natural selection. And in which case, if Earth is a simulation in a game, then why wouldn't there be many simulations? In fact, there could be thousands or even millions or billions or trillions of simulations. And each simulation, each time you run the program, from the Big Bang up until now, every time you run the program, the randomness of natural selection changes the mix just a little bit. The recipe just gets changed slightly because life is random, your choices are random. And whether you walk out of the house and get hit by a bus or whether you walk out of the house and live and go win the lottery later today, that could affect, obviously, your future, but the future of your bloodline. So, why wouldn't there be lots and lots and lots of simulations in order to determine which version of life, which version of Earth, of all the creatures of Earth, the totality of life on Earth, not just humans, but all of it, which version of that is, quote unquote, the best? We don't know what the best would be, what they're looking for, they being the aliens who are running the simulation. This is all just fantasy nonsense. We're just philosophizing about the simulated universe. You heavy duty Christians have already turned it off and trolled me, you're furious right now. This really makes people angry. I find it funny and interesting, but some people get really upset over this conversation. So if there's an unlimited amount of simulations being run, testing out this natural selection 
idea, this experiment, in order to see which version of life on Earth, which version of the universe even, is quote unquote the best, Does that mean the same outcome always happens? That life always ends up the same? Are we the best that life can create? Does life always kill itself? As soon as you run the simulation in any of the simulated experiments, the thousands or millions or billions or trillions of them that might be run at the same time, do they all, as soon as they hit play, life just starts competing against each other. Life just starts eating each other, killing each other, fucking each other, rioting, burning stuff down, and eventually just blowing the planet up. Uh, it seems to be what's going on. Not just amongst our species, but I've been on safari. I, I spent six, uh, six weeks out in the bush of Africa. Animals aren't really getting along either. They're killing each other. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Only the strong survive on this planet. Is that just the condition of the simulation? Is it just unique to this planet? Is there a utopian planet where every single creature gets along and holds hands and sings kumbaya every day? Does the natural selection experiment run within the simulated universe theory, does it always produce the best outcome? Does evolution always produce the best outcome? We kind of think that the weak die and the strong survive and that kind of forces through natural selection uh, creatures to be able to thrive because the strong survive. The weak bloodlines, the degenerate bloodlines, the mutated bloodlines die off, making all creatures, whether it be an ant or a human, through that same process of natural selection, this is how we've survived for thousands or millions of years. But does evolution within this natural selection experiment, does it create the best form of life. And then if it does, does it always create the same form of life? So meaning you could put in any ingredients and run that simulation over and over and over and over and over again, and it's always going to create a bipedal, talking, walking creature of some sort that ends up just blowing up the planet. <laughs> and then you have to wonder, is it possible? that since Earth has been around for four billion years, and even though we threaten every decade that Armageddon is on the horizon, that the doomsday is coming, every generation thinks this, that this right here, this might possibly be the best version of this simulated universe. I don't know, it's all food for thought. Thanks for watching. <laughs>